Uh, definitely. Like they should they probably have the favorite matchup here. Yeah, if he's like going Krav's Ike. buttons are just better than Ike's. I feel like that. in like almost every single way. But Tispai is a brain of a player. Yeah, Tispai is a very very intelligent player, uh, which always makes it a bit more scary to go up against him. And yeah, we are seeing the Ike, the classic Tispai Ike, everybody. So you obvi you obviously know this is going to be heavy read play on Tispai's side. Kyle's yeah. just going to be rushing him down, giving him no room to breathe. But Watch, she's going to run up near. Run up near. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he called it. All right, everybody. Somebody get a lottery Call ticket. Tomorono. Somebody get a lottery ticket. <laughs> uh, teaser can see the future. <laughs> but yeah, this is a best of five, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, we're just already in semis. Notice. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And Whoa. yeah, that armor on that up is going to be really important in this matchup because Ike doesn't really have many get off me options. That up is his best one, and Krom loves to mash on people's shields. Okay, but so that armor it helps him get out of there a lot of the time. That grab though, Tispai literally turned around and tried to grab him with no range. I guess Ike doesn't have any grab range. Yeah, Ike sucks. Ike is Ike really sucks. bad in this game. <laughs> Ike sucks. <laughs> Ike's really bad. Oh. I mean, the things that would hit with any other character just don't hit with Ike. Oh, Tispai's got no jump here, by the way. It's in a really bad spot, but. That side is going to bail him out. I, I Really bad spot. I don't think the disadvantage was the really bad spot. I think the really bad spot is the fact oh. that he is down a whole stock. That's also a really bad spot. Kyle's... Oh, my God. Bravery. The absolute bravery. Like... <laughs> Kyle giving Tispai, like, at least five seconds to think about his punish, and he settles for Nair up air. Classic Ike main move. <laughs> Classic Ike main move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got we got Kyle at the ledge though. Tispai, yeah, Tispai ha like has to kill him here, and he's going to. Mm -hmm. That's a really good setup for like more linear recoveries, going off stage and doing that up B because it's so big and covers so much space. It's really hard to contest, but uh, chat back here. Also a really good kill setup. <laughs> All right, so so what what does Tispai do here? You think? Oh! Tis yeah, he has to put it all in black here. He has to go for that. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's dead. It, it doesn't he? matter. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. Ah. Uh... Yeah. So, so that's okay. That, I guess that's the the crux of this matchup, huh? Is that Krom is literally fast as crap, and Tispai or Tispai and I yeah. aren't fast. But and Tispai has, has to see the future and know exactly what Kyle's going to do, and then hit him out of it. And, and, I mean, and even hitting him out of it's hard. And so you being the guy who has a little more experience playing, you know. Yeah, and rocks. he doesn't want to do that, so he's going Pyramithra. Yeah. Uh, they have a way easier time in this matchup because Krom, one of the only characters that really struggles to edge guard Pythra. Um, just yeah. because he struggles to go off stage himself. I mean, so she's it's going to be a bit scary for him. She's got plenty of recovery tools as well. Yeah, but. and she's much faster in neutral and has much more or many more options for actually like hitting Krom. Uh, Kyle doesn't really care, though. No, yeah, because <laughs> Mithra's at freaking 78 right now. But, yeah, but of course, uh, the classic Mithra combo. Mithra even that out pretty quickly. Yeah, the classic Mithra combo. We got He's at 53. So I don't really like Tispai's Mithra for one reason, and that's that it thinks too much. <laughs> You're telling me you hate Tispai because he thinks? Yeah. No, come on, man. Or like, I think his Mithra does not play to its full potential because he uses his brain too much. Okay, so and you you're not really supposed to do that with this character. Sometimes you're just supposed to press the button that feels the best to you. This F smash should take it, but he gets the sweet spot. Ooh. Runs up and just raw F smash. That was, oh, no. He has to switch back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and he's still not out it yet. That's crazy. Okay, so, so here's what I think right now we're seeing. Tispai has has now switched characters. We are in the exact same position as game number one. Kyle is honestly just living rent free Ooh, in Tispai's right. head right now. I wouldn't say that. I feel like Tispai's still playing as he normally would, but uh, it is looking rough for him. I feel like if any time that he has to lean on the Pithra, it doesn't really work out for him. Oh my! And he misses the B reverse or the B turnaround on that up B. Both of them are going to end up dying there. Not good for Tispai. He's at zero though, so okay. Tispai now had well had an opportunity to try to close that damage lead, yeah. but unfortunately, it's oh that was smart. Did you see that? Yeah. Now, oh that's a really good air dodge from Kyle though. I don't think Tispai thought the air dodge could make it, just letting him get away with it. Uh, and that's really unfortunate to see if you're Tispai, but oh, oh my god. Oh, it kills. He was at 40 on the right side that of the move stage. That literally covers a quarter of the stage. It's basically like a, you're going to be here. And that, you'll die at 70 for being here. That was insane. And now this game's even now. Kyle has to get down somehow. Always hard against Pithra, but... Um, <laughs> Foresight. Yeah. Moves is busted. I feel like Tispai's giving him a bit too much space in like uh, this advantage state here. So always giving Kyle one more defensive option than he really should have. And Kyle's sometimes using that defensive option to get out of these situations that are really uncomfortable for him to deal with, like being in the air. 
Okay, so if he's been if he's uncomfortable being in the air and he's uncomfortable being off stage, we, we see Kyle pushing the pushing his advantage towards oh, center, center that stage. Was so good. That was a clean read by Tispai though, allowing him to get back to to well neutral or attempt to be neutral. Yeah. Oh, but he runs into Krom Jab and Yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh Tispai's awareness on what Krom wants at kill percents being a, a bit lacking. I feel like if he's more con uh more uh, confident in the matchup, I feel like he wouldn't be running into those jabs. He he really did just run. He really ran straight into the jab. <laughs> like, Kyle jabbed like three times, like uh, half the stage away from him, and ran up jab. And Tispa was like, "I don't think you're gonna jab." I I got this. I got. This. I'm rolling the dice. I can beat this. Yeah. <laughs> Not a move to roll the dice on. <laughs> oh. It's not even like playing Mithra. You don't even have a chance of foresighting it. You're just dead. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. It's like it's just true, and that's one of the things that I do know about foresight is foresight. Mithra just, just 26. Krom up beat us 26. I just want to point that out. <laughs> this is something that's angered me for a while. Oh, going for the raw runoff down air. It didn't land, but I mean, still oh, respect it. Oh, that was it. beautiful spacing around the uh, nair from Tizpai. Just walking back. Only gets an F tilt from it, though, so it's like whatever. Like It's damage. You I mean, significantly outplayed me. I 6% and I'm back at ledge. Right, but it, but at least he, you, you significantly outplayed me. I now have stage control. I have an edge guarding. Like, it's a smart move. Yeah. I just feel like if you're like going to get punishes, as, or if you're going to outplay them to that extent, just running back from that nair, I feel like you need to get a harder punish. Because it's like, I don't know. It feels like this fight isn't maximizing his advantage state here. Uh, because, like you said, he might be thinking a little too much, so he's thinking about other options that may be smarter or... Yeah, maybe over-respecting Kyle. Kyle missing the Jair there, though. Whew. Oh, okay. Thank God that wasn't Roy, because he would have been dead. Interesting decisions. Oh, uh, planking. I love it when Pyro planks. I don't know what you're supposed to do about it. And Tispai, with a stock lead for the first time this set, he's going to need to do something with it, though. Okay, he's at 129. Got a good amount of damage. We're almost at 50. The stock lead looking good here. Like, down 2-0, it's important that you don't just win by a bit. It's important that you win by a lot to start getting momentum on your side. You want, you're trying to make a statement. You're not trying yeah. to win. You're trying to make a statement. <laughs> 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 oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, Chase showing yeah, us. Yeah, and that's going to be the second stock. Tispai's got a full stock lead here. This is like the last game, but in reverse. Chase uh, off screen, show, or off uh, cam, showing us how to play Krom. He jabbed five times in a row. Yeah. Raw. Kyle's got to show that he can do what Tispai did to him last game, though. Try and bring this thing back. All right, so we're down. He's we got a good start on it, though. Going for that hard read F smash, though. I respect it, but I don't know how I feel about that one in particular. Both of them. Yo, US oh, Lynch. my. What? The parries. Raw. He parried both the first two. Was that intentional? I don't know you could do that. Maybe. But but what I what I love here is, like, you can tell both players that when they're Oh, he didn't hit the ledge. He's dead. He did that on purpose, I think. Maybe his, I don't know, maybe his finger slipped or something. Costly mistake coming out from Tispai, though. And this game is anyone's for the taking. Oh, no. And if this is Tispai, this is not what you want to see. You, you're hugely going away in just an instant like that. He's got something here, though. He's got to keep uh, this crime in the air, though. Oh, no. Another directional air dodge. That was so punishable, but he misses it. I think, okay, so so I think what Tispai is doing is he's rushing all of his options because he's literally he's literally just trying to get the kill. He's only going for blood, which is allowing oh. Kyle. Okay. Okay, good getting off the foresight, but it saves his life. But he's allowing, like you said, like you said earlier, he's respecting Kyle. He's allowing him space. There he's going to finally end the yeah. game. He finally puts his advantage to use. I think Kyle but missed the parry there. Uh, you think so? Yeah, I think that was a miss parry. Because mm. he dropped shield like a couple frames too early. I don't know why you're trying to parry pirate moves there, though. Like Agreed. You're at 100. You're at 120. You, you die. Right. If, and if, you, if you're right, you get jab, I guess. I mean. Get jab back here. Congrats. Right, and she was at 40, so. Yeah, exactly. But we move on to game number four here. Uh, Tispai looking to keep himself alive on the winner's side of semifinals. Kyle looking to stop this mounted comeback that we have seen from Tispai, but I, I just don't know. Tispai is going to have to play this game the exact same as he did game number three. Yeah. Uh, also, they keep going back to two, uh, PS2 honorable gentleman here. Hey, look, I'm going to gentleman to PS2, and if you don't want to change, you say, you tell me that before the set starts. Keep taking you to PS2. Oh, my God. Tispai is actually going. Oh, no. Oh, okay, he didn't get tracked off at least, but. Okay, that was like, I was like, he's, like, he's got to rip up Smash. He's on the platform. He has the opportunity. Yeah. He's got to go for he it. He just lets it go, and yeah. 
Kyle's starting to lean a lot more on these uppies, though. It's not really his preferred method of playing. Oof. I think he likes running at them and hitting buttons a bit more, but of course, starting to show a bit of adaptation, sitting in shield a bit more here. And he has gone for that roll and read every single time, and no one in the two sets that we've commentated has fallen for it. My dude, my heart when 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 he side bead as Mithra, I thought he was dead. I thought Kyle was just gonna rip it. I thought Tispy was dead yeah. right there. Nah. Ooh. Mithra and air is such a good move. It is, and it, 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 it was crazy. Is it lands with a hitbox? Yeah. So you literally can't you punish, can't punish it. it. Unless you're like a god at parrying or something. But even then, uh, the landing hitbox is like the most awkward thing in the world to parry. Kyle's got something here, though. We're back to even already. And he is not stopping. Good get up attack. I think uh, Kyle was looking for an S match there. Yeah, absolutely was. He was he was running, trying to see whether yeah. he was going to roll in or not. The thing about Kyle is like, whenever, you could you could tell when he's looking for a kill just by like the way he moves. Mm -hmm. He makes it so obvious what he's going to do. I feel you. But Tispy, Tispy is always I, thinking. It, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. always trying to figure out what to... Oh, that's not good. Uh, nah, he's... Yeah. yeah. I, we say always thinking, and then he does that. If you listen to the back of this, Tispy, I'm sorry. Spot, he lived. 146. Krom at 146. Just F-tilt again, yeah. I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. I, like, actually... Probably jump. You die anyways. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. what, what, you just gonna neutral get up? You're just not gonna jump? What are you gonna do? Yeah. Pyro at ledge is so good. Especially okay. when you're at kill percent. That move also doing like 23. Maybe just by not like too confident in his technical punishes though, just going for like these side Bs and F smashes. Instead of going for anything more substantial. I kind of get it though, because Mythos moves don't do that much except for a select few. Oh, we got lucky with that air dodge back to Platt though. Okay, so now we're trying to fight for center stage. We're trying, Tispy's trying to get back to a quote unquote decent, like level playing field here with Kyle. But Kyle just, I still think even though right now Tispy is a little a little more damaged than he is, even if Tispy puts him over, Ooh, I think, I I think that, that he's, I, I, it was a pretty good sequence. I still think Kyle holds the cards of this match right now. I disagree because he's at ledge now. And now he has to deal with that and that F-Smash is going to take it at game five. Tispy is so confident. Caster Curse. Yeah. Caster Curse. Take off I, the headset. I take off the headset. <laughs> Go home. Yeah, I got it for game five if you're too worried about it. <laughs> I Okay. The reason I was saying that is because you could see the confidence in, that Kyle had jumping around the moves that Tispy was throwing out. Until he got put next to the, until he got put to the ledge, Kyle really did like, was oozing so much confidence that it looked like he was kind of in control. But of course, Tispy does a good sequence of moves. F smash on the get up attack, lands it, takes game four. We are at game five. Yeah, Kyle, usually like a very talkative person, very sets, very uh, animated. I just saw him wiping his hands on like his uh, thighs though before game five. Sway balls. He's maybe feeling it a little bit. I don't think he wants to get reverse 3 0'd by Tispy. Uh, re getting reverse 3 0'd. Getting reverse 3 0'd in general, no. Like, yeah. no one likes that. Especially against like DLC pack two, like, that just doesn't feel good. <laughs> I got reverse three would by Petra. I got reverse yeah, three would like by smoke, Kazuya. You smoke his main, his Ike, like his best character, and then he just goes to, to build a bear Petra and get, get build by a me. bear Petra. Oh my gosh, what are these names coming out? <laughs> What are these nicknames? These titles? This character feels like a five-year-old who went to build a bear and put everything that they wanted on their bear. Okay. Except for a good recovery. Except for Except a good recovery. They forgot that one. They gave, uh, we have many recovery options. One being good, we forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my lord. Oh, a bit late on that. Oh, yeah, of course he's going for it. Uh, wait, why, you would, why would you not? It's game five. I would go for the gimp. Yeah. He's dead. Uh, that should, no, what? the DI. I thought the move just obliterated you. How is, just, how is Kyle living? Good DI. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, my god. Interesting choice to go to have her jab. Okay, we got the Pyra out. How did oh, that what? not hit? He, oh, okay. Uh, Kyle is surviving on pixels once again, just like last set. He's just running into, like, he's, there's, there's. Oh, that was such a good dash attack. It's all caution to the wind with Kyle, and that's one thing that I do like. When Kyle is up, down, does not matter the state of the game, my man, it just runs head first into battle. Yeah, it may bite him here, though, because he's got a lead. He should probably play a bit more safely with it. I don't think he's going to, though. Uh, you, you may be right, but I think the thing is, is but, ooh, it worked out for him there, though. Um, Talk about not playing safe. That He just went for it. Yeah. I don't think Tispy is ready for him to commit to that. Uh, 
Oh. Ooh. Rough. Rough. Yeah, you hate not had the reaction it. on the roll in, but. Uh, you hate not inputting your pivot grab correctly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. He's got something here, though. That was so close to hitting. So, but we've seen Tispy turn a game around like this. We got Kyle at 83. Yeah, especially with Pyra. Right. Like, this character's so good at that. Right. One hit right here with Kyle on a platform, he dies. Tispy's swinging, though. I, like, what, what do you expect? What do you, what do you want him to do? But, like, usually he's a way more reserved player than it seems. But uh, right here, he, he, I just saw him throw out like four fire aerials in a row. He had the read on the air dodge, but just a bit off once again. I feel like that's the story of the set. Tis probably just being barely off, barely behind. Oh! It's a shield break. We got a shield break! We've got a set Yo. here. Last stock, game five. Last stock. It's so easy for Tispy to even this up, not if he gives a dash attack like that. <gasps> Deep roll. He held Chest in twice. Rest. He held in twice. Barely not hitting. Oh. Now tispy has got something here. Kyle giving up another directional air dodge seems to be like a recurring theme in his disadvantage here. I think Kyle's starting to feel it, but Tispy's also feeling it. There's pressure on both sides. There yeah, it is. That's gonna be it. There it is. Oh my gosh. Pressure mounting on both sides of the map right there. Both players can feel it just crushing in on them. And it looks like Kyle is the person who can deal with that pressure a little bit better than Tispy. Yeah, it's so tough like in those situations especially when you're like in the process of making a reverse 3-0 dude because unless you're absolutely in the zone there's like the pressure to complete it because it's like i can't just get this far just to lose game five like <laughs> you, you feel like you have to like finish it out i tispy was this close to finishing that one out too so that that's two back to back basically last dog last hit sets we've seen from kyle kyle clutching it out yeah kyle in winners finals now has a decent shot of winning this tournament don't know who he has waiting for him on the other side of bracket. Maybe Skits. Maybe.